Hello, it's Susan and welcome. Today I'm going to be doing um, a bloom and I'm going to be testing out a new cell activator I'm trying. I've been trying for the last few weeks. Um, I was using, where is it? This here. It's called a uh, Speedball Ink Extender. Um, it's for block printing block printing ink medium make sure it's you can see that um, so I thought I would try I have another one this one here is a screen printing transparent extender speed by speedball you can get it at any art store or amazon so that is part of my um, cell activator and i'm using black ink as well in it and to make sure that i show okay right here that I'm using in it as well and I'm also using Amsterdam lamp black acrylic paint this is acrylic ink by the way and water so those three things and water um, my colors I'm using base the Quitex basics quadacridon magenta make sure how I show it okay Amsterdam reflex orange and it's this permanent red violet by Amsterdam My pillow is Glidden Premium Interior Satin White. That's my pillow. My pouring medium. Uh, the paint I'm using is Beauty Tone Signature Series Exterior Semi Gloss Clear Base. And I add um, varnish to it. Oh, I forgot to put this varnish in it. Color Pour Glossy Varnish. I got this at Walmart. Um, so I got this and water. I have to wa I have to thin my um, paint down with a little bit of water because it's very thick. So that's it for that. Okay, I am going to start by adding my pillow. Just wanted to spread it out to see if this would be okay. Doing it this way. Okay, I'm gonna add my colors. I like how I added them the last time I used these colors. This is the permanent red violet. This is um, oops, 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 um, the Amsterdam. It it, it is um, transparent. Okay, now 
have the Reflex Orange, which is semi-transparent. Whether I'm adding too much, but we'll see. And this is trans. No, this is semi-transparent. It's the um, Coraquidon Magenta. I think it's semi-transparent. Oh, that's okay. Right now, change the angle again. It is oh, I think that's semi opaque. I thought it was semi transparent. Lowering the camera so that I can oops, show you the blowing part of it. Now I'm gonna add the black cell activator. See any air bubbles? No? So I'm blowing straight down and I'm trying to blow down and out, but gently. dizzy from that. I got no white spots this time. Looking good. It's a lot of black in there. <laughs> Maybe what I'm gonna do is try and blow a little bit more. anymore. I ruined this one here. I made it so big. Huh. All right, spinning, just tilting a little bit this way. Now spin it. Whoa, that's a lot of paint on there. Cool. I like it. There's a lot of paint on here, so I'm gently spinning. <laughs> sure is different.
I don't think I better spin it anymore. Maybe just one time. <clears throat> I think it's cool. It's not a lot of lacing. There's more like cells and this kind of went wonky, but that's okay. All the edges look nice. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to spin it anymore. I'll just bring it up for a close-up. And I'm going to show at the end. I'll let it dry, excuse me. So stay tuned. Um, I will be showing the dried results. Hopefully it dries okay. This is my dried results. Dried really nice. Bring it down for a close-up. No, no cracking. Looks pretty good.